deeply. And I want you all to really grasp this information this evening and spread it uh, far and wide about more about our planet. All that's being revealed. So today we're talking about the superstitious mountains. I'm not I'm not sure how many of you all are familiar with the superstitious mountains, but it has a, a, a reputation of being a very dangerous place. Well, the truth is the superstitious mountains are located in Arizona. So they are located to be exact on the 33rd parallel. Let me, let me see if I can pull up the coordinates. Okay, so these are the coordinates. The coordinates of the superstitious mountains is 33 degrees longitude and 111 degrees latitude. I repeat. 3328 41 north and 111-1420 west. Those are the coordinates. So you see master numbers all through there. 33rd degrees, 33rd parallel. The superstitious mountains are located on the 33rd parallel. Also, the coordinates of 111. All right. So I want you to look into angel numbers. 333111. These are both master numbers, ascended master numbers to be exact. All right. You have to understand about location and where things are set up on our planet. We we practice true sacred geometry. So before human beings ever touched this planet, everything that we put on this planet was geometrically aligned to energetically connect us with everything in the cosmos. Everything on our planet is geometrically aligned that way. This is why they can't figure out the secrets of the pyramids, because the way we geometrically aligned it. The same thing with the superstitious mountains, okay? Now, keep in mind that there's no such thing as mountains, all right? Mountains are merely tree stumps. So when we're talking about the superstitious mountains, you're talking about giant trees, our ancient trees, the real trees. And this is why the superstitious mountains is considered very dangerous. They consider it superstitious because so many tourists and hikers and people have went missing and you know, they go missing for three months, six months at a time. And then when somebody finds them, all they find is clothes and bones and skeletons and things of that nature. Uh, well, so this is why they deem the mountain superstitious mountain. Right? This is where the nickname comes from. But most of the people that's getting killed when they go in these mountains are human beings who don't deserve there. Who don't, who don't belong there, rather, should I say. These are not mountains. These are our ancient trees. And remember, the trees are alive, all right? The trees are very alive. And even, although they cut down all our trees, what they fail to realize is that all of our trees are, are, are alive, more so than they could ever imagine. So when you have people going into the, the, the tree stumps, which is the superstitious mountains, and they're trying to mine gold and find certain things, then, of course, what's going to happen is you're going to have people that's going to transcend, they're going to come up missing because you're not supposed to be there. That's ancient grounds. Um, if you want to talk about from a tribal standpoint, all your so-called black people are the Indians. But, you know, you had a group of us or a tribe of us that was located in Arizona called the Aztecs. So when you talk about Phoenix, Arizona, anything in Arizona, or you're talking about the superstitious mountains like we are talking about right now, you're talking about the land of the Aztecs. So think of it that way. And before it was the land of the Aztecs, remember, we broke up into different tribes. We became tribal in order to survive, to be able to, com to continue to communicate with one another. We wasn't always in a tribal state. So this is what we have going on with the superstitious, superstitious mountains in Arizona. All right. You have these ancient trees and some of the most powerful trees that we had that our entire planet was covered with trees. The entire realm was covered with forestation jungle if you want to call it that if you want to if you like i always say if, if you want a clue of how the planet looked before they came all you have to do is go watch avatar the movie avatar the movie gives you kind of a little mindset of how our planet looked we had these giant mushrooms they were everywhere magical mushrooms too the same way you eat shrooms today all of a lot of the forestation around you is what you would call quote unquote magical which allows you to tap into different things within yourself within your dea your deoxyethyric acid this is a fact. This is why they don't want you eating the vegetation. This is why they don't want us doing any farming. They do all the irrigation. They do all the farming because they understand the connection that we have to the land, being indigenous to the land. All right. We have a different connection to this soil. We are neuromelanated beings. All right. Remember that nine ether beings. So 
you gotta understand on our planet, what's now considered modern day Arizona, that's literally the back of what they call Africa. And because it's the back of Africa, it's more like an entrance point. So by Arizona being an entrance point into what we know as Africa, right? Basically, you have all these giant trees and these all these original trees, which were some of the most powerful trees. We had a bunch of trees on the planet, but some of the most powerful trees were all gathered together in what's considered present day New Mexico and Arizona and Las Vegas. All right. All up through there. OK, you have all these giant, beautiful, what they call mountain ranges, Colorado as well. These were all some of your most powerful, powerful trees. And remember, the trees have life. They pump life out. But they not only pump life out, they pump intelligence. All right, they and they communicate. They pump solar energy from other from other um um other other powerful locations within the cosmos. All right, the 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 roots of the trees are connected to the veins and arteries that run through our body. This is why your heartbeat and the veins in your heartbeat look just like the roots of trees, because we are plant based. So some of our most powerful electricity wiring because the trees act like an electricity outlet for us for the planet was in arizona you gotta understand that this is why when you go to arizona the, the the mountain ranges are so clumped together it's so many of them but if you understand that those were ancient tree stumps then you can understand how big the trees were you can understand how powerful we are and it's a lot of it's a lot of electricity and plasma energy that these trees still pump out to this day. In fact, all of the electricity and energy that you see being channeled, it's coming from the trees. It's coming from the actual land. They get the power out of the land. All right. I told you lightning comes from the land. Lightning is plasma energy that comes out of the planet. That comes out of the soil. It doesn't come out of the sky. A lot of people think lightning comes out the sky, but it's the reverse. Lightning comes out the soil. All your electricity, all these trees... That they all go, they remember it's just, it's just like your locks. Think about my locks. If somebody comes and cut my lock off, my lock is going to regrow because I still have the root. My lock is growing from the root. That's where all the electricity at. That's where all the 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 plasma energy at, organ energy at, photon energy at, gamma radiation. That's all inside of me, all of within my follicles, right? This ether. It's the same thing with a tree. Okay, they chopped our trees down, but if you notice, they chopped them down. They didn't cut them down from the root. So all this electricity, solar energy is still on the planet being pushed out through the roots of these trees. All of your energy. And think about it, you pay for energy. You're paying for electricity right now. But this is where it's coming from. It's being pushed, it's being pushed out. Not only that, remember, the trees are alive, so they hold all the secrets to not only this reality, but other realities. The trees are merely animating this life form. Most of your trees are, are, are ascended masters or adepts, what we would call spiritual gurus in other, multi, in other multiverses and other parallel universes. But they came here in this reality and chose to animate the life form of vegetation or trees. Right? This is why you're able to learn from trees. This is why you should hug trees, all right? This is why you should be able to learn from everything around you, including this crystal. This isn't just a crystal right here. This is the body. This is the body, right? This is the body that is animating. But this crystal is going to give you a certain energy and all of that. That's the life force inside the crystal that's doing it. Okay? So understand what the trees really are. And if you can understand that they, they killed one of the trees, one of the main trees, one of the most powerful trees. It was just like in Pandora, just like on Avatar, they, they chopped it down. And that tree is now called Superstitious, Superstitious Mountain. And they wonder why all these motherfuckers dying. Every time a human being want to go in there and try to discover some shit, he get his ass discovered. You hear me? Every time one of their ass want to put on a backpack and run off into the Superstitious Mountains... They go missing and they end up getting their ass discovered months later. Transcending. Because you don't belong there. You're not supposed to be there. You literally turned all our, our beautiful forests. Some of the most powerful part of our forest is in Arizona, in New Mexico, in Las Vegas, in Colorado. You ride through there, it's a fucking cemetery. 
if you know what you're looking at. If you don't know what you're looking at, you riding on your way, you go, you go to the west coast, the western part of, of the of America with three Ks, you be, oh, it's so beautiful. These are beautiful, beautiful mountain ranges. But if you recognize that you are in tune with your land and the planet and what's really going on, you can see, no, they cut down all our trees. These were huge, beautiful trees with beautiful branches and beautiful leaves. They are gone now. So this is basically a tree cemetery that is being disguised as a mountain range. And once again, they want to call it the superstitious mountain because motherfuckers go missing. Oh, it's bad luck in that mountain. Hey, there's not no bad luck. You know what the fuck y'all, what y'all did. Y'all know what y'all did, man. Ain't no bad luck. Ain't no superstitious nothing. These trees are alive. They have intelligence and they have memories. They know exactly who they want to harm and exactly who you are. And although you may have slayed the top part of the tree, the essence of the tree is still there. The roots are still there, firmly put. They can never get rid of that. If they could, you wouldn't see mountains today. It would just be open space. But they can't, they can't, they can't do that. All they can do is chop it down. But they can't uproot it. Them two different things. They chopped it down, but they can't uproot it. And guess what? Our trees are going to grow back. Those mountain ranges have been what they call mountain ranges have been rising since they chopped it down. It was lower than that. They won't tell people that. Every single mountain you see is growing taller and taller every single second, every single year. But they won't tell the public that. Because they got the, they got the public thing and their mountains are just dead rocks. But if you start study, studying mountain elevation levels, go look at the summit tip of, of, of certain mountains. And what they said the tip was hundreds of years ago. And go look at the summit snap. Why are the mountains growing taller? Because those are not mountains. Those are actually tree stumps. And they never cut the root. They never uprooted the electricity out the, out, the, out the plant, out the soil. They only cut it down. So this is what we have going on when you have individuals that go into superstitious mountains. And, and even where it's located at, on the 33rd parallel, very powerful. These, remember, <laughs> trees pump out electricity. And the electricity that those trees gave off act, act like it's on fertilizer for the land. The self-fertilizer for the land. You had all these trees clustered together right there in present-day New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, and Vegas. But these were some of the most powerful trees and some of the most biggest of the trees that were on this realm. This is what they don't want our people to know. We go to superstitious mountains. We go, we're going to tap into all type of advanced information. We're going to start downloading to our genetics. Just us being in the presence. They don't want us out there. They know this too. It's a fact. They don't want us out there. It's a legend called Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine. They say it's a gold mine that's, being, that's hidden amongst the superstitious mountains. Okay. Or the trees. And they never found it. And this 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 legend is what leads a lot of hikers to go into the mountains in the first place. They're looking for this gold mine. And they never find it. Like I said, they always get found. A lot of the Apache, they say the Apache put the first respect on the on the on the area of trees because they said that it was certain holes in the area that led down to hell. Well, that's a fact. The so-called superstitious mountains, which are some of the most powerful trees we had on the realm, also lead to certain portals. They open up the portal to Hades, which is the underworld. This is where Satan and all your fallen angels live at on the planet when they while they're here. They they live in the ninth realm, which is the which is which is Hades or the nether realm. Remember, this planet is consists of nine different realms. We on Atlantis, we in the middle. Alright? But at the very bottom, the very last realm is Hades. And the trees in, in Arizona, to be exact, the superstitious mountains open up the portals to Hades. So if you go look up stories about the Apaches when they talked about, they say the Apaches told stories of how the superstitious mountains 
led to the gates of hell. Well, hell isn't real, but Hades is. It's an actual place. All right? It's the, it's the place where a lot of lost souls go if they're not still wandering the, the realm and they haven't tra com completely transcended, they go to Hades. All right? And these trees in what's known as Arizona are the most powerful. Some of the most powerful on the planet. And they were also some of the biggest. And they, they, they because of the electricity omitted, emitted rather, from these trees and these branches, it opened up these portals. Which led to Haiti. So the Apache told stories about these so-called now superstitious mountains. But the thing is this. They are not mountains. They are trees. And if you was to look up how many of them exactly exist. There are 32 mountains that come that make up the superstitious mountains. There go that number 32. We wonder why. It's really 33. But the, but the last tree they don't want to tell you about is the one that leads toward the Grand Canyon. And we know what the Grand Canyon is, the entrance into what they call present-day Africa. What they call America over here with three Ks, when they tell you the stories of ancient Egypt, they are taught all them stories took place right here. The Mississippi River is the Nile River. I've already told you this before in lectures past. All right, and I have another lecture coming up on, on, on the truth about Africa, and I'll touch more on the Arizona-Africa connection. Um... But it's imperative that we know this. It's 32, it's 32 to be exact mountains that make up the superstitious mountains in Phoenix, Arizona. Why 32? Because those are trees. It was 33 trees. It's 33 trees. And he who understands the power of the three, six, and the nine understands the secrets to the multiverse. This is a fact. Nikola Tesla said that, but Tesla got that from us. All the great Greek scholars sat down with us. We set up everything numerically, geometrically, shapes and everything. It's all part of sacred geometry. Using color magic and number magic to make things align. So you got 32 trees that make up the superstitious mountains. This is to this day where a majority of the power grid gets this power from that they use. How we have a power grid, most of that is coming from Arizona. The whole planet is aligned, but those were some of the most powerful sockets, outlets. Some, some of the most loudest frequencies. Because our trees anciently used to dance and sing out frequencies. And we're rising in frequency, so people are going to start to see that again. The trees are stuck in time. And as the time spell breaks down, we are responsible for breaking this time spell down with our realization that time is not real. Alright? If you ask... Uh, how many mountains are there total in Arizona? Watch this. We know mountains are trees. How many mountains? Watch this. Are in Arizona? Three thousand nine hundred twenty-eight mountain peaks and summits are in Arizona. It's more mountains in Arizona. Than any other mountain state, Colorado, Idaho, Mount Montana, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. And all these so-called mountain states, how do you they call it? Mountain time. That's because these are trees. And electricity is high. It's different, it's the different levels of electricity that they have yet to figure out how to manipulate. But it's there. It's potential energy. Some 33 parallel is right there. And this is the metaphysical facts that they'll never understand. Only we have those keys. The, ch the ancient ones, spiritual assassins, nine the beings, carbonated ones, luminous beings, that we are. But you have 3,928 mountain peaks and summits, so that's 3,928 trees in Arizona alone. It's not by accident. We're talking electricity right now. High levels of electricity. High levels of radiation, the type you need to, 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 to light your fire. Remember, you're nothing but electricity. So you're just trying to figure out how to intensify it and amplify it. It amplifies your electricity in those so-called mountain states. Because those are not mountains. So everything is amplified in those locations. And, and because 
they slayed and slaughtered that tree or those trees, certain spells were put intact because certain things are being guarded. You have you have pyramids located inside the superstitions, what they call mountains. Because we have pyramids everywhere. You got them all down in Mississippi. You got them in Illinois. There's pyramids everywhere. But you have a another macabre, almost like down, almost like what's going on down in the Bermuda Triangle, located right in Arizona, in the Superstitious Mountains. And they knew about it, which is why they want to keep our black ass out of there. But you got all these trees that are composed to make up what they call the Superstitious Mountains, and they're only called superstitious because so, so many people have died in them. But all the people that die in them are the human beings. These are the same people that the and the human beings that's dying aren't there. I guarantee you these aren't the high vibrational ones neither. These are all descendants of the original beings who came and slayed our trees. The esoteric secrets lying in these trees. Hidden medicine, hidden advancements, things that we bestowed upon the land hidden in these trees in Arizona. The superstitious mountains to be exact. Whole pyramid. Made out of citrine, lapis lazuli, and, 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 and clear quartz. Huge, beautiful crystal made out of lapis lazuli, citrine, and clear quartz. Laying right in the middle of Arizona. Superstitious mountains. And that's what they be looking for. That crystal. Not no damn gold. They be looking for that crystal. They be trying to say, oh, we looking for this gold. Nah, nah, nah. They be going to look for that crystal. And because it's being guarded by our ancestors and, 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 and cosmic entities beyond their comprehension, they get destroyed trying to go find it. They'll never tell you these truths, these esoteric facts. But this is what's going on with the superstitious mountains. All right. So I want you to do more research on it. Go read more stories on it. Now that you have a, a full understanding of what it is. It, it was a... One of our most, most powerful points on the planet. And it's also like located smack dead on the 33rd parallel. These are not mountains. These are trees. But I will see y'all tomorrow right here for the mass meditation. I appreciate you deeply. Peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai.